Good morning, friends. Welcome to our channel. And this is our day third scenario of our uh, real time scenario playlist. So today, the scenario we are going to cover up is how to work with custom date mainly, or how to count number of record based on your yesterday from a file or in a file. Okay, so this is our main main uh, uh, agenda of our job. This is my input file. Okay, it has a column that has date in such format your format can be different uh, okay so i have chosen format as date month and then year so this is my format and according to uh, so this is today is 9th may and uh, so the yesterday uh, rows data i need to count so like it's 8th may yesterday so total 8th may rows are only two so my output should be coming as a two so this is my uh, target of the job so let's get started with the job. I have created the job so that it can be quickly explained to you. So let's check that. Okay, mean, uh, see, this job is very simple. I have seen that uh, various people or many of the people just recommend to use routine, but I think that uh, this can be easily handled by our talent component itself. So we don't need to write any routine. So, let me show you how. First of all, let me just disable this option because this is for multiple files. And uh, okay, we are getting started. Okay, so I'm just choosing my input file. That is my date file, and I have selected uh, my column. Okay, with my desired because we are going to select it as a string format because you know. Uh, I will explain you later on. So this is my basic part. I have extracted the input file. Now, this is the most important part. First of all, I have to compare with today date, right? So first of all, I need to know the current date. So for knowing the current date, I have used this talent function and stored it in a date variable. Similarly, using this current date uh, variable, I have extracted the yesterday date variable. You are aware of this function. I'm assuming that. If you are not aware, then please go to talent documentation. Very neatly, it has been explained with examples. So you can go through that, uh, through it. Next, what I'm going to do is that, see, this is, I'm storing date in some date variable, uh, date type variable. So first I need to uh, convert it, it into string. So for that, what I'm just using, I'm using format date function, okay? and in my this format, desired format. So format can be anything uh, the way you like. And I'm storing it in as uh, some context variable that is my uh, string type variable, yes date, okay? So this is the first part of my job, it is done. My most important part to store yesterday date and then I'm going to compare this, this variable value with my incoming uh, rows uh, value from the file. So for that, what I'm just for comparison, I have used the if else statement. Okay. And what I'm going to do is that I'm comparing the row data equals if it is equals to context variable, then please uh, pass one, otherwise two. So this is my if else condition. And I have chosen this variable as integer. And uh, I have uh, created a new column here that is count because I have to store some count variable in some column, right? So this is uh, the column and what I'm the main filter I'm using here for this output uh, output uh, part here is that my variable should be equals to one only. If it, the variable, uh, this variable value is equals to two, don't pass in this output uh, part, okay? Only one value should be passed. So, and next I have used the T aggregate row. You know, if we, if we, uh, if it provides various uh, option functions to minimize our uh, coding part, like count minimum maximum average some their list of options so i've used what i'm i'm going to print output column i'm going to print two output column date and column and account and that in count output column what i want to perform i want to perform count function based on date input column okay so this is your uh, main thing and this i'm just printing this column as it is passing through the file so now uh, this is done okay now what i'm going to do is that uh, i'm just extracting that row count that uh, count value in uh, storing in some context variable why i'm storing it a context variable see if you want to store or if you want to want to pass from child to parents you can do it from your context variable very clearly so that's why i'm showing that some value in context variable 
or if you can if you want to pass this value in your email also okay as according to the requirement so you can use this context variable in your email component to pass the value so i'm storing this count field column value in context variable that is i have created count rec and by default i have used an it as a zero value because you know it will uh, reduce my null pointer exception uh, uh, problem so i think till now this is very clear now i'm just running the job i have uh, selected an input file now see i have selected one input file that is my date file let me show you the output file also this is my date file uh, and uh, yesterday date uh, rows only two rows are there so let's just run the file okay so this is my job you can do it with the routine also there's a, a, a java code you can implement in routine and then using the map function but i think you don't need to write extra code when you can handle it with talent component only okay okay now see i haven't printed anything because i have uh, i use that as a comment so my output was zero just want to show you the result okay so total number of reports is 2 i hope this is clear now i want to do uh, what i want to do that uh, like there are if there are multiple of files uh, similarly input files like what i created that same file i uh, copied and pasted three times so i have now four files and each each file i have two records according to my uh, data okay so my last output uh, output should be eight so what i uh, do that i have selected the file for directory and uh, i have used this file mask okay because i uh, starting of the file is same for everything and uh, on the uh, okay for that if there are multiple files what do we need to do first of all we need to make it dynamic so let's just make it dynamic now it is dynamic now this is the most important part see on the first iteration it will pass to and it will store into this variable on second iteration also it will pass to this will pass to and it will keep uh, storing it to, into so my last output will be will always be two only so for what for that what we need to do is that we need to keep adding on some on adding that variable so on the first iteration this will return two and this is by default zero on the first iteration i'm saying see i have selected it as a zero so this will this act as a sum equals to zero which we do in java code implementation okay so this will return 2 plus 0 so 2 will be stored in this variable on second iteration it will return 2 but this value contain 2 so 2 to plus 4 so it will uh, update to four value now on next iteration it will return 2 and this value has the 4 uh, so variable has four value so 4 plus 2 6 so this will update to 6 so on last what i'm going to do that after all iteration just print the output so i'm just printing the context uh, context variable out, okay now just check this okay so for readability i'm just writing here total number of yesterday records okay and i'm using here plus because you know this is variable so we need to pass at we need to concatenate it okay and for if there are multiple file please uh, uh, please uh, remember that this schema should be same for all the files that in that case only it going to work because schema differs then your job fails so total number of yesterday yesterday record spelling is wrong sorry for the mistake and it is my output so you can pass this uh, variable value in your email also i hope this was very easy to follow and you learned something new if you learned something new please keep learning and uh keep learning be safe be healthy thank you for your uh, watching this video and thank you for your valuable time bye bye take care